Okay, so guys, what I'll do is let me just explain a bit about where we are, what's going on in this scenario. That essentially, this is the kind of um, the 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 heart of physical geographer of geography. So for for a physical geographer, this is the place that they love to come because 360 degrees around us, we have everything that you could want to see. Yeah. So out in front of us, we've got the big the, the glaciers. Yeah, so this is the Ayafiat Yurkut one. So essentially, if we were here back when it was erupting 2010, yeah, you would see big, big uh, smoke coming out the top of it. So there's the ice cap. Where we were walking is just the other side of there. So you can see the the, uh, the glacier there in the distance. What we then have in the foreground is something called braided channels. So this is all fed by the glaciers, and it's glacial meltwater that fills these. Why do you think it's so wide? Erosion. The glacier comes through here. Hannah? There is a glacier. The Why is it so wide? The glacier. So during the year, the output of the glacier changes. It fluctuates. So in the springtime, when there's the spring melt, it's much wider. So all of this would be full of water in spring. In winter, it goes down to barely anything. So this is all yeah, sediment that's been deposited as it's, it's sort of come down through the channel. And then if we spin round, if you just turn around in the distance, we've got the coast over here. And in the distance, you can see the Westman Islands. So that was where we were a few days ago. And you've got this coastal plain stretching out in front of us. What we are then stood on is the heart of an extinct volcano. So we're about 188 me meters high. And Storodemon is an extinct volcano and it sits in the middle of this plain. So, you know, thousands of years ago this would have been much bigger, it's that the outside's been eroded. And then if we continue round, you've then got another mountain range, much um, less steep over there compared to here. What's what about that glacier that we've just extended this direction is the same one yeah yeah but would it would have come all the way down here? yes that yeah i mean so this is the other interesting thing is nothing is as simple in real life nothing is as simple as you think so when we show you diagrams in the classroom we show you this is a coast this is a glacier and it's really simplified the reality is that the landscape is called a palimpsest so Something happens, and then something else happens on top of that, and then something else. So it's like a story where there's multiple layers to it. So yes, glaciers tens of thousands of years ago carved out the valleys, but then as those glaciers retreated, it was then the meltwater that then eroded and created different landforms. And then most recently, if we were to look out into this landscape, what has happened more recently? What can you see? Any signs of something? Ash. Ash. There is ash, so we've got the eruptions. So then the ash gets laid out on top. What else? Something more obvious, though. Buildings. 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 Human occupation. Yeah, so we yeah. can see that this landscape is now being used by humans. What's the main land use? Agriculture. 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 So it's this coastal plain, which. Super flat. Super flat, yeah. Not particularly um, a kind of good to farm on, but it's the flattest land they've got. So you can see some farming going on over there. There's a farm over there. And they use that for what? For the, the animals. feed the animals over the winter, yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is pair up so you can at least see one booklet. And if you turn in the booklet, there is a page. Should we see which page number? Okay, you turn to page 28. You've got a blank page. Now what I want you to do is have a go doing a field sketch. Have you done a field sketch before? No. Yeah. Now the idea of a field sketch is it is not an artistic diagram. It's a technical drawing. So the idea of doing a drawing instead of a photograph is that we're trying to use our knowledge as geographers to distill from reality. So we're extracting, using our lens, using our knowledge, extracting the things that we think are more important. 
the idea is you could maybe break this up into um, halves or, or six. So you could use a grid to try and think, okay, you're, you're looking for the key outlines. So you start with the key outlines, and then after you've drawn the main outlines, you can start to add detail by annotating and then um, adding descriptions. So the idea is you're looking for the key outlines, the key geographical features, and you want to start labeling and annotating them. Okay? Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes.